this isn't that they're not in the ACC, but technically they kind of are. And I'm just I just put them up here this week because they're the best matchup in the conference this week. Um, I couldn't keep putting Syracuse up here as the game of the week. Sorry, dude. I'm just not going to. I just couldn't keep doing it. So Notre Dame. Yes, I know they're still an independent in football, but they do play in the uh, ACC for basketball. So let's just go ahead and say for entertainment purposes, they're an ACC team, which they technically are because half their schedule is in the ACC. They still play their their traditional uh, games like against the Stanfords and against the um, USC's of the world, but they play about five to six games against ACC schools. So then they can be credible enough for national attention because they figured out that you couldn't keep playing the South Floridas of the world, the uh, the uh, Bucknalls of the world, or uh, and all these teams that will just fatten up your schedule. And, you know, we, we, but we came from the days where Notre Dame used to set it up. If you're a good team, we're going to play you. And they had to get out that mentality because they didn't have the same, you know, they didn't have the same uh, situation anymore. But when we get down to this game, this is a great game for Notre Dame to put on display what they're capable of doing moving forward. I think that Sam Hartman is playing excellent football right now. He's a little bit under 1,500 yards. He's thrown for four touchdowns, zero interceptions. He's been sacked three times this year. But the biggest thing for me with this team is Asteen. Asteen is a is a is a is a dynamic back. He's going to be playing on Sundays as well too, and he's the big difference in this team this season on the offensive end, making them go the way that they go. But the biggest star of the Notre Dame football team this year is their defense their defense has played lights out all year long i've really enjoyed what i've seen from this defense when it's time to lock it down they will lock it down and last week they showed their moxie they showed their grit and they showed that you know what we don't need to go out here and win games 38 to uh to 38 to 14 to make ourselves feel good we know that we're playing against some of the better teams in the nation because that's how we've scheduled ourselves over the last few weeks. And you know what? I hate to say Notre Dame is maybe getting a little overlooked right now because they're playing nothing but ranked teams, teams that are are actually have great records right now, and they're still sitting at number 10. And then you see teams like USC struggling with the Arizona States and the Colorados of the world. You know, so if they when they line up, this is going to be a much bigger game than it's been in years when Notre Dame and USC do line up because it may be for something real this this time around. But all in all, the way that I look at this game, I see Notre Dame just being way too good in this spot for Louisville, just like they were last time. And Louisville will come out and they'll be strong. They'll play really well. They, they've got some good things going on right now as well, too. They're scoring a lot of points. And – they are playing with a better focus than they have over the last few years. And this is probably the best they've looked in the, the ACC as well, too. But I just think Notre Dame is just light years ahead of them, and they'll easily win this game. It won't be that easy, but they'll take over this game in the second half. Jeff, what are your thoughts on this one, and who do you have winning? You know, before the season started, huge, huge, huge Hartman fan uh, had a great start to the year. Uh, when this season, they Notre Dame had a schedule uh, that if they did go undefeated, that they definitely would have been in the Final Four because they hosted Ohio State, I think, next week or the week after they host USC. And I think they got one other tough game on the schedule. The point is uh, – uh, a win against Ohio State, which they lost on the last play of the game, uh, a win against USC, and of course the rest of the schedule would have definitely cut them into the Final Four. That loss to Ohio State, then as you talked about, a uh, tough, tough game last week against an undefeated Duke team, which they handled. They had a good second half, and they go on and uh, they go on and actually cover that game, which was uh, anyone that had Duke in the points, uh, tough, tough beat there. Uh, I look at this game this week. Uh, you got a six and a half, you said, here with a 54 and a half. My true number 
uh, on this game was 51 with a six and a half. Uh, the public's pushed it up to the over. Uh, with the current number, uh, this is a, a 30 23 game all day. I think Notre Dame will get theirs, whether it's 30, 31, maybe even 33. I think they'll allow anywhere from 20 to 21, maybe 23. But I definitely am on the Notre Dame minus the six and a half side pops. All right. Sounds good to me. Looks good to me. And I think that you're on to something big there, Jeff. And I think that, um, you know, that's the right mentality to have for this spot as well too so you know i just really do enjoy that that that's the play for you as well too but i i, I really know that this is going to be one of the tougher games for notre dame in the first half but i think in the second half they'll pull away they'll play good football and go from there because we know that note louisville it's a 7 30 game 4 30 my time 6.30 their time. They don't get these big primetime games on ESPN. So they'll be all in, you know, just like those fun old Thursday night football games we used to have in the Big East in Louisville used to be all in. Papa John Stadium going nuts. Michael Bush running for 200 yards before the half and then breaking his leg. You know how it goes, man. What you call it? That was still one of the craziest games I've ever seen. The guys ran for 250 yards in the first half with four touchdowns and gets hurt. Gets hurt. College career over that day, you know, so that's how football is, man. All right, 